How to get whatever you want in life. That's what we're going to discuss. Let's get right into it. But quickly before we do, a welcome and thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as I'm back each and every day in videos just like this to help you out in any way that I can as I absolutely love doing whatever I can for this community and all of you here watching these videos, I truly just wanna help. So I hope you can get some ideas out of this video here and hopefully it serves you and helps you get whatever you desire in your life, right? All right, so thanks so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. Let's get into it and discuss what does it take to get literally whatever you want in life. Now, of course, I have to preface this video by saying I'm probably going to get some comments down below and this is probably going to sound a little bit hokey pokey, but stick with me for the next few minutes here and I think you're going to soon find out and realize that what we're talking about in this video is actually true and it does does actually work. I'll even give you some examples of how you're doing this already in your life right now, but you may not even realize it. Let me tell you this much. I've gone through many, many years, the vast majority of the years of my life, up until about a year, year and a half, two years ago. It wasn't even that long ago until I started to recognize this and started to implement it purposefully in my own life. And I was like, hey, huh, this stuff works. This is pretty cool. Now, again, I get it, it's gonna sound a little hokey, but let's talk through this and I think you'll probably recognize that, hey, I guess it's kind of a cool concept. All right, but it's super simple, super simple. I mean like the most basic thing in the world. When I tell you this, you're gonna think, seriously, that's it? But yeah, let's talk through this. All right, so how do you get whatever you desire in your life? Well, it's exactly that. Making a definitive decision that you want what it is, whatever it is, maybe it's a new car, Maybe it's a new house, maybe it's some new shoes, maybe it's a new sh uh, shirt, maybe some pants, maybe a purse, maybe a new boyfriend or girlfriend, maybe a new wife <laughs> or husband, <laughs> right? <laughs> it literally does not matter. Maybe it's a new chair, maybe it's a new phone, a new TV, literally it does not matter whatever you desire. It all comes down to making a definitive decision that yes, this is what I want. Now, again, like I said, it sounds a little hokey. Seriously, that's all it takes is making the decision that yes, this is what I want. That's all it is, literally. It is the prerequisite, prerequisite for getting what you want is literally making a decision. There's a lot of times, think about it in your personal life. I know that I've been there, done that so many times, and I still do this. You think about something and you think, ah, oh, man, it sure would be nice to get that. Well, guess what? That's not a definitive decision. That is simply just basically thinking about and fantasizing about something and saying, well, it sure would be nice to get that. Well, that's not making a definitive decision. When I'm talking about making a definitive decision, I literally mean deciding this is what I want and this is what I will get. I will do whatever it takes and I will get this. How many of you have been there, right? Uh, for example, I mean, probably we do this stuff on the most basic things out there. You're out, you're out doing something, maybe you're with a friend or your husband or your wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend, you're out with a friend, you're out with somebody and you decide, I'm going to get that. I don't have any money right now, but you know what? I'm going to figure out how to get that. Maybe it's something as simple as an ice cream cone or a coffee or something so simple. It only costs a couple dollars. You might not have any money in your pocket and you might think, you know what? I want that so bad, I'm gonna figure out a way. If I need to walk around and pick up dimes and pennies and quarters on the street until I get $3.25 to get myself an ice cream cone, I'm gonna figure out a way. Maybe I'll ask my friend. Maybe I'll go up to the to the line and say like, hey, you know, I just really need an ice cream cone right now. Uh, does anybody wanna bum me, you know, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars? And eventually, if you ask enough, and if you uh, continue to decide whatever it is that you want and decide to, to continue working toward it, ultimately you will get whatever it is that you want. Now, one more thing I would just wanna preface this by saying. If you make a decision, let's say that you're hanging out at home, right? You're watching this video and you decide, ah, I want a Ferrari, a brand new Ferrari. And you make the definitive decision, yep, I'm gonna get myself a Ferrari, right? Just because you make that decision, you're not gonna be able to go and look in your garage and be like, hey, there it is. Three minutes later, I just got a Ferrari loaded up in my garage. That's not really how it works. But 
The difference is when you make a definitive decision that this is what I want, whatever that thing is that you want, you start moving into action because all of a sudden you get a little jacked up, right? You get excited. You start thinking of ideas. You start, you start thinking of strategies. You start thinking of ways that you can acquire whatever it is. You get your mind into a creative state. When you get creative, you start thinking of cool ways that you can acquire whatever that is. Let me give you a quick example. Now, um, I'm anticipating that, well, I don't know this for sure, but there's a lot of people out there who drink coffee, right? So let's just use, use a coffee example um, for this example right here. So you wake up in the morning, you enjoy coffee right away in the morning. You roll out of bed and you go to your kitchen or wherever it is that you get coffee and you don't have any, right? Like you don't have any coffee grounds or whatever it is, however you make your coffee. Are you just going to like wrap up the day and be like, well, you know, I love coffee. I'm just not going to get any coffee today because I guess I just don't have any coffee grounds. I can't really make it. My machine is not working at the moment or whatever the circumstances may be. Are you just going to wrap it up and be like, well, I'm going to throw in the towel now and I guess I'm not getting my coffee today because, you know, I love coffee. It's very important to me. I love drinking it right away in the morning. And uh, well, I guess I'm just going to throw in the towel today and uh, wrap it up as, uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to get my coffee. Are you going to do that or are you going to say, hey, I don't have any coffee grounds, my machine isn't working, or whatever the situation is, I am determined to getting coffee today. Are you gonna maybe call a friend? Are you gonna maybe get in your car and go to the local store and grab yourself a 99 cent coffee? Go to the local gas station and get one? Maybe go over and knock on your neighbor's door and be like, hey, <laughs> Funny situation, my coffee machine isn't working today. Do you feel like making me a couple of cups of coffee this morning or you know what I mean? You're going to find the way. In most situations, you're probably going to find a solution to the problem that you're facing at that time. In other words, you put your mind into a creative state. Therefore, you made the decision, no matter what it takes today, I am going to get myself my coffee because it is so important to me, right? So you will find the way. Whatever it takes to get there, you will find the way. Now. It doesn't really matter how it is, but my point is, this is a definitive decision that you have made that I will get my coffee today. I don't care how it's done. If I need to go to the store and beg and plead because I don't have a dollar to get you know, a 99 cent coffee from the gas station or whatever it is, or maybe you don't want to do that and you decide, I'm going to go knock on my neighbor's door. I'm going to call my sister. I'm going to call my brother. I'm going to call my parents or whatever, whoever it is. I'm going to call my friend and be like, hey, this is my situation. I got to get myself some coffee today. So my point is that you have made a definitive decision that this is what I want and I am going to get it no matter what. That's a, um, it's a super easy example, but I guarantee you, if you are a coffee drinker, this has probably happened to you at some point, right? Let me give you a quick example. Personally, for me, I do enjoy coffee as well. I drink coffee every morning. About four days ago or so, <laughs> the coffee machine completely stopped working. I woke up one morning, went down, I pushed the button, and it's like nothing, nothing there. I was like, great, now what am I going to do? So, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, but I did this. I was so determined that I'm going to get coffee today. I had a little bit of grounds, so I had grounds, the machine just was not working. So what I did is I took a coffee filter, I put grounds in the filter, I heated up some water, and I literally took the filter with grounds in it, and I sat there and dipped it back and forth in the cup for about four minutes. Uh, just to kind of run the water through the coffee grounds, right? So um, that, I literally did that. This is a real life story. I just did this like three days ago. Um, so anyway, ultimately, I got my coffee. Did it taste the same? No. Was it very good? No, not really. It, it was not that great. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I decided I don't care what it takes. Coffee is important to me. I like it right away in the morning. I like it nice and hot. And I'm going to do whatever it takes. I got creative. I've never done that before. I have never sat there dipping grounds of coffee into a cup back and forth for about three or four minutes um, holding a coffee filter. I've literally never done that in my life. But I decided I am making the decision right here, right now, that I will drink coffee this morning. And that is how I decided to do it. It was a creative idea. It didn't work the best in the world, but ultimately at the end of the day, in the morning, I had some coffee that didn't taste very good. But my point is I did it and I got my mind into a creative state because I made the definitive decision. This is what I want and I'm going to get it, right? So my point is, it's super easy. I get it. It's a super simple example. But if you make the definitive decision that you want this, 
your mind will do some crazy things in a really good way and all of, a, all of a sudden you'll start to get some really cool and creative ideas and you will ultimately get whatever it is that you want. That's all. Com that also, that's literally all comes down to. The only prerequisite for getting what you want in life is want. I know, super easy, super simple, super basic, right? But that's all it is. Deciding that you want it and starting to work toward it. So anyway, I hope this gets you a little bit excited. I hope it gets you creatively thinking and I hope it goes um, the next time that you're in a situation where you think, man, I really want that. Um, there's a big difference between just thinking about something and deciding like, well, just thinking about it and being like, well, that'd be really nice. There's a huge difference between just thinking about it and um, deciding like, oh, it would be nice between making a definitive decision. That's key. So hope that helps you out and gets you creatively thinking. I hope this kind of gets you inspired a little bit. But either way, I wanted to share this with you. That's literally all it takes. Definitive decision of exactly what you want and ultimately you will uh, start thinking of some pretty cool ideas and you will ultimately get that. So thanks again for watching this. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe right down below the video, share this video with your friends, family, social media, and I'll catch you later.